question. Um, and it's great. Thank you very much for coming in. But just this sense of um, about my colleagues' questions, border poll sort of in an end of itself. The arguments sometimes I feel that are being made to have the border poll, have the border poll, have it today, have it tomorrow, have it five years from now, without any real conversation about what's next, what that looks like. The, it is nearly its own end in itself, a bit like achieving Irish independence was to some its own end in itself without the statecraft that followed next. It, that end in itself thing is a big problem for me. What's your view on, on, on that? Well, I, I think it, it's a very binary, stark choice, a united Ireland or stay in the union. And unfortunately, in real life, I, I think you need to be have room to blur things a little bit to make progress. The stark choices are, are difficult, uh, inherently difficult, simply because they're stark. One or the other, yes or no. Uh, and uh, that's why I'd be hoping that uh, a, a lengthy investment in reconciliation, you know, how you define that, I, I think requires more work than I've been able to do. A lengthy investment in that will create new sort of angles, new, new vocabulary even, for describing the relationship on the island of Ireland. We, we have been very stuck on you know, this, these ideas of sovereignty, you know, unitary sovereignty, as if that's the be all and the end all. That, to my mind, is very, very much a British idea, mm. dating back to you know, Britain in the 19th century. It wasn't the view on the continent of Europe, you know, the Holy Roman Empire, all these entities, they weren't operating on the basis of sing, a single so, so, local, locus for sovereignty. So I, I think we, we, we could, you know, need to rediscover new ways of thinking about things. And that's why I think it would be good if the unionists were to get involved in the discussions about the reorganization of the UK, because then they would basically... I, 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 the problem I find in dealing with the unionists is that they, all, they don't take responsibility. They know what they don't like, but they don't take responsibility for uh, finding a solution. They, they voted for Brexit and yet took no ownership of the consequences of their, their decision. And I think that they need to be encouraged to step up and take responsibility as, as of course we do.